we want to bring your foot brace up make sure it's unlocked you've been using it bring it up and just disconnect the, this s beaner from the zip tie on the side of the foot pedal and do that to both okay now you want to take that cord pull it underneath the pad put it on your seat take the other cord pull it under your pad make sure it's not tangled or anything and put it on your seat you could clip it on the cable if you want to keep it out of your way for a minute and I'll show you the place to put it once we're done then the boat will come apart in half which is the normal disassembly and you'll take your seat out and for this video I'm just going to show you what happens with the back half of the boat so you'll take your boat You'll tip it up on end. You'll remove this carabiner from its latch, which is your up-down rudder. You reach into your hatch. You'll disconnect two cables. Make sure the S carabiners stay on the part that's down and only the ends of the cables go up. You reach up, unlock your three latches to pull the second part, bring this down. You could always take the rudder off before you did this if you wanted. While well, it's still assembled as a boat, there's a little R clip here that just pulls out. The rudder comes off. Make sure you put the R clip right back in so you don't lose it. You got two cables, both of these cables. Just unclip from the rudder, both sides. Okay. Just wrapping it around. For storage and that'll go in the top of your bag once you've loaded your boat coil these up put them in the stern make sure they're not in the way of the clamps and that's where they can live when you're paddling the boat and you don't want the rudder on it and it's also how it will nest into the into the bag so the only thing left that you're going to need to do connect this section and section four will have two loose cables you want to make sure it's freed out of the way and you'll take reach in grab the two cables pull them tight Take that carabiner and it should just hook on the bungee cord for the back of the seat. This one should do the same. So if you want to paddle without the rudder, the cables stay out of your way. Don't interfere with the seat or your paddling. That is it. With that, the boat parts go back in the bag just as they would normally. So good luck. I'll be talking to you.